One of the best ways you can give your body a boost and help keep its defenses up against illness is by eating healthy food. Food that contains essential vitamins and minerals that keep your body strong. One of those important vitamins is vitamin C. Is vitamin C really that important? Can it help prevent things like cancer? How common is vitamin C deficiency? We're going to answer all this and more in today's video, so keep watching until the end. Here's 9 signs your body needs more vitamin C. Number 1. Nosebleeds Nosebleeds are no fun, that's for sure. Do you get them often? It could just be the fact that the blood vessels in your nose are just naturally weaker than usual, or it could be a vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C helps your body to produce collagen, which helps to strengthen your blood vessels. The less vitamin C in your body, the more likely you are to have weaker blood vessels, and if they're located in your nose, then that's why your nose bleeds so often. Number 2. Odd-shaped body hair Okay, this one is pretty weird, but when's the last time you've checked out the shape of your body hair? Doesn't matter if you have a lot or a little, if it's growing in weird ways, it could be due to a vitamin C deficiency. The most common shapes to look out for are either bent or coiled hairs. This happens because the lack of vitamin C affects the protein structure of the hair. If you catch an odd-looking corkscrew-shaped hair, it's a pretty key sign. However, they're hard to catch, because sometimes the damaged hairs usually just fall out or break off. The good news is that once you replenish your body with vitamin C, this symptom will naturally go away. Are you enjoying this list so far? Just wait until the next point. It's very strange. But before talking about that, why not subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a video just like this from Bestie. Number 3. Sore, Bleeding, and Swollen Gums Ouch! This one sounds painful. You might mistake this one for gingivitis in the beginning, but if you have a healthy oral routine and you see no improvement in the health of your gums, it's probably linked to your vitamin C intake. Again, collagen is something your gums also need to stay healthy, and vitamin C directly contributes to the body's production of collagen. If your body is lacking, your gums can't heal properly and will continue to bleed. If your gums are swollen, that's because of inflammation. Vitamin C has antioxidant properties, so it can combat this swelling and inflammation too. Vitamin C deficiency might also cause your body to be deficient in another important mineral. Number 4. Anemia or Iron Deficiency Vitamin C deficiency and anemia often go hand in hand. Vitamin C can help your body absorb iron, but if you're low in vitamin C, it can make it harder for your body to keep its iron levels up. One study showed that pairing 100 milligrams of vitamin C while eating a meal that was rich in iron improved iron absorption by a whopping 67%. Unfortunately, if your body is low on vitamin C, it can cause your body to bleed more often, like the nosebleeds and swollen gums we talked about earlier. This excess bleeding can up the risk of anemia as well. Here's a few other symptoms that are related to both iron and vitamin C deficiency. Number 5. Spoon-shaped or dipped nail beds Have you taken a good look at your fingernails lately? Are they a bit odd-shaped? How about spoon-shaped? If you find they dip in the middle and are also thin and brittle, this could be a sign of either a vitamin C deficiency, anemia, or both. There may also be some red lines or spots on the nail beds. If your nails are looking a bit weird, it could be a vitamin C issue. Another symptom of both iron and vitamin C deficiency is… Number 6. Feeling tired or moody While this is a symptom of many, many things, we can't rule out the lack of vitamin C. After all, it could be an easy fix, or it could be an indicator of something more serious. Vitamin C does play a role in the production of energy and your mood. One study suggests that upping your intake of vitamin C could directly impact how you're feeling and boost your mood. But if you're experiencing chronic fatigue and a boost in your vitamin C levels isn't helping, we would recommend that you take it seriously and speak to a professional. Are you worried about your vitamin intake? Take a look at our video called Signs Your Body Is Lacking Vitamin E and Its Benefits to learn more. Or you can also check out 7 Signs Your Body Is Desperate for Vitamin A to keep yourself healthy. Now back to our video on 9 Signs Your Body Needs More Vitamin C. Number 7. Your Body Takes A Long Time To Heal If you're noticing that cuts and scrapes take a very long time to heal, you might want to increase the vitamin C in your diet. Vitamin C directly contributes to the body's immune system. Vitamin C helps protect you against infection and speeds up the time wounds take to heal. 
Not to mention, it'll help with the way scars will look after, because, as we've mentioned, vitamin C helps with collagen production, making the skin strong and smooth. Number 8. Dry hair and split ends we all want silky smooth locks, and when you're giving your body all the right vitamins and nutrients, it will usually reward you with clear skin and shiny hair. Once again, collagen is to blame for dry, brittle hair. Collagen gives hair its strength, and vitamin C will boost your body's collagen production. Number 9. Weight Gain it seems like everything can cause you to gain weight, and unfortunately, a vitamin C deficiency is no different. Remember when we talked about how lack of vitamin C can cause you to feel tired? Well, that can contribute to a lack of energy and will make getting up and working out much more difficult. Not to mention your metabolism will respond to a lack of vitamin C by slowing down, making it harder to keep the weight off. Where to get vitamin C Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, which means you need to get it from an outside source. Your body doesn't create it. Since your body can't stock up on this vitamin, it's pretty easy to become deficient. Keep in mind, don't go overboard on the vitamin C intake. Your body can't store it, so any extra will be of no use to you. Try and stick with the recommended daily intake, or RDI, of vitamin C, which is 90 mg for men and 75 mg for women. Keep in mind, eating fruit and vegetables raw is usually the best way to get the most nutritional benefit. Here's a few simple ways you can boost your vitamin C intake. Lemon water. One of the easiest ways is to add some lemon to your water. Drinking water is vital to your health. Since you have to drink it daily anyway, why not give your water a boost and add some vitamin C? You can cut a few slices and stick it into your water bottle or you can squeeze the juice from the lemon itself. Adding lemon to hot water or tea is also a great source. Red peppers. The sweeter the better! Did you know a cup of raw red pepper contains more vitamin C than an orange? One cup of red pepper can provide you with 317% of your recommended daily intake, while a cup of orange will only give you 160%. That's still really good though, so if you prefer oranges to peppers, that's okay. If you haven't tried eating red pepper raw, you'll likely be surprised at how sweet they can be. For the most vitamin C, try slicing up a few peppers and dip them in some hummus for a tasty, healthy snack. Try to avoid creamy dressings for dipping fruit and veggies, as it can add unnecessary calories and sugar. Acerola Cherry or Barbados Cherry This is a type of cherry that you may be unfamiliar with. Experts are calling it an untapped superfruit, and it's one of the best sources of vitamin C on the planet. If you were to eat a cup of these cherries, that would be almost 3,000% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin C. Yup, you heard that right. This fruit is also rich with phytonutrients like carotenoids, anthocyanins, and flavonoids, all of which help to fight off disease and keep you healthy. You can get it in a bunch or in powder form, although we always recommend getting your nutrients and vitamins from eating whole, unprocessed foods to get the best health benefits. Do you think you have a vitamin C deficiency? What's your favorite source of vitamin C? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.